there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to start off with the colour orange and we're pretty much going to be sticking with it. I have a piece of Distress Watercolour cardstock here and I am just blending the bottom. I just want kind of an almost ombre part here. Now in the end this part is kind of not unnecessary but you could definitely do it a different way. But that's okay, I am getting out this new alphabet that I have. Um, this one is from AliExpress and I'll link it down below in case you're interested. But I have got all my letters out and I want the bottom of the letters to have the orange. So it's kind of almost like an ombre look uh, for each of the letters. Now I end up running this through my die cutting machine a couple of times um, just so that the letters didn't end up uh, touching each other. But if you're more organized, you probably could have run this through just one time and it would have worked fine. I purposely am going to leave out what this says so that for those of you who get kicks out of it, um, I have two words here and you're welcome to guess along with all of the letters uh, as to what they are finally going to say. You'll find out in just a second. Um, as you can see, I have die cut lots of other letters too to go along with it. This is some um, masking paper. Now this is the Simon Says Stamp masking paper and I cut it down into strips and I basically use it instead of using tape or post-it notes and things um, and then I just once I use it if I'm able to reuse it I just stick it up on my board and reuse it again and again and again until it's truly done. But here I have put this piece of masking paper halfway up um, a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel. Um, now this, as I said, was a complete challenge. I wanted to challenge myself to use orange in this card, to use just one color. And the reason I picked orange, I'm not really sure, but I can't imagine that this wouldn't work for any color. So you could just pick a color and go with it. Here I am once again, kind of looking for that ombre look. I want it to kind of fade out nicely. Um, and it looks a little bit messy until you end up kind of taking off that masking paper and then you can um, start to see how it's all kind of coming together. Now one thing I did want is a nice solid um, orange border around the outside. So this is a matte layer that I will use and I am just thoroughly inking up the outside. I want it to be a really deep dark um, version of the orange so it's got plenty of ink on it. And here you will finally see what I am spelling out. And you can kind of get the main gist of the card. This is a super simple card. Um, as I said, I was just kind of finding my groove and challenging myself just to use that one color. Obviously, I'm using white too. That makes um, complete sense. But orange is the main color that I am using here. I did decide that I wanted the ombre to kind of the color to come up a little bit further. So I have just taped, used a little bit of that masking tape and um, joined all the letters together so that I can get them all even, get the color even across the letters. Now what I could have done if I'd done this the first time, it would have been fine too when I was re-inking, but I am going to make sure that they are all completely even and kind of exactly where I want them to go spacing wise. And then I'm going to take that same piece of uh, low tech tape, that masking paper, stick it right through the middle and this way I am going to add some liquid glue to the back and be able to stick them all down in one go. If you haven't seen it, this is the new glue bottle that I absolutely love. Uh, in my previous video on my channel, I kind of explain a little bit more about it. But these are from AliExpress and I just fill them using a syringe. And I use the Ranger uh, multi-medium in the matte finish um, in these bottles at the moment. I've still found that that is a great glue that I keep coming back to time and time again, even after trying other ones. So this card is going to say, totally awesome. Uh, this is for a young friend of mine. And as I said, it's a really simple card, but um, it does kind of pack a lot of punch with the color choice, I think. Um, and how it's set out. So I'm just doing exactly the same trick with the uh, awesome part of the sentiment and adding some tape to it so that I can add all of those letters. You could definitely do it one at a time but this way you kind of the spacing is sort of um, already sorted 
by the time you've got it on that sticky tape so yeah it's just what works for me and then I'm able to peel them all off and the glue dries really fast so you don't have to worry about having to wait ages um, it's a really fast adhering glue so that's kind of the first part of the card I feel like it does it is missing a little something because it looks pretty basic at the moment so I'm going to glue it onto that layer that we created before and that definitely kind of um, gives it that little something and then from there I will glue it onto a card base and the card base is a 110 pound Nina Solar white card base um, that I cut and fold myself and that looks quite cool I quite like how this is looking it's coming together but this really finishes it off so this is the Nouveau drops in the semi-transparent um, this is the orange one obviously and I am just adding three little dots basically to every single letter I actually don't end up adding it to the W but that's neither here nor there um, and I feel like this kind of just adds again something little to the card I like it I really like how this card turned out but it is very simple and this alphabet die set makes it really achievable next card I am going to use this stamp set from Elena Crafts she is on um, Aliexpress as well so I will link to her in the description box below sorry and I want that big smile sentiment now I want it to be top left hand corner so I'm just kind of holding my masking tape over my page where I think I want it to go and then eyeballing uh, to make sure that it's straight and I'm going to stick it down again I was challenging myself just to use the orange color so just kind of the orange and the white were going to be the main features and I completely um, sort of succeeded with that I felt Good about the first card and then the second card I go a little bit off track but I think I didn't do too bad in the end really so I am saturating this little top left hand corner if you were to do this you could probably also just use a piece of colored cardstock that would do the same thing but um, yeah I was working with ink today so I was happy with how this one turned out too I'm just going to dry it using my heat gun because it does stay wet a little bit longer and I want to heat emboss on it so I'm using my anti-static powder tool this one is from EK success but I haven't had much luck with it because it just clogs no powder comes out at all so I just unscrew the lid and um, tip a little bit out and then spread it around with the brushes at the end I am using some sticky ink to stamp the smile sentiment and then I'm going to emboss it this is where I go a little off the rails I decide to go silver so I just kind of I had debated about this for ages I always thought I was going to do it uh, in white and then when I came to do put the white embossing powder on I couldn't make myself do it even for the video even for the video when I knew that I was going to do a white and orange card I went with silver but that's okay it's all good anyhow this is a scrap piece of paper you can see I have die cut one of the E's for the um, card before but I just want to put down some orange ink because I want to die cut some leaves and foliage from this and again I want them to have that half and half kind of ombre look so I'm just going to uh, quickly tack these down and then die cut some of these uh, some of this foliage and they die cut really easily and you can kind of see how they end up coming out so it's got the exact same kind of 50 50 look as before I did turn the dies around so that I could get a little bit of variation so some of the um, color is at the top and some of the color is at the bottom um, and I will link all of these foliage dies are from Ellie as well and I will link what I can below if they're still available and I also cut some out in plain white and then when I done that I thought that I also needed some in something a little bit different so I ended up cutting some out of some heavyweight vellum as well just to give it again a little bit of variation I must admit at this point I didn't super know where I was going but I felt like I needed the foliage to be a little bit more cohesive with the rest of the project so this is where I decided to bring in the silver embossing powder again and I'm going to add some silver to these uh, to this foliage so uh, with that main one in the middle I have actually taped off on an angle part of the leaf and that is because I just want the silver embossing powder to come halfway up that plant um, sorry that leaf 
and with the others I am doing the whole um, the whole lot so the whole leaf anyhow so I'm dipping it in some sticky embossing powder and then I'm going to sprinkle over this silver embossing powder and you can see I have left that um, piece of low-tech tape on there for the minute and I will take it off before I heat emboss it to make sure that there are no little strays on there, under there that are getting trapped. So you can see them in the top left hand corner but I'm just trying to get through this video without making it too long. This is a piece of fun foam which I am putting underneath the um, orange panel that we ink blended put ink on before. And now I have some extra wide double sided tape. This stuff I have been using so much at the moment. It's just so easy to cover the back of a card with this. And I am going to adhere that down to a 110 pound Nina Solar White card base. Um, so this one is going to go sideways. And then I just want to put some of this uh, foliage together. So I'm just snipping some pieces and uh, leaving some pieces larger. I'm just making this work for what I have. And I quite like that some of them have the silver embossing and some are uh, the vellum. Uh, it works really well together. I did raid my button stash. These are my orange buttons. And um, again, I didn't really stick with just the inking, but so I'm breaking the rules, my own little rules, um, a little bit. But I am going to pop this button down and that just really tidies up the messiness of where all the foliage meets in the middle. So I'm using some liquid glue to adhere these down. Maybe I could have used some uh, dry glue, would have been a little faster, but this glue does grab pretty fast, so um, it wasn't really tricky at all. So you can see there is the um, half and half embossed and with the orange ink at the top on that leaf. And then, as I said, I am just going to use some bits are going to be their full size. Some bits I've cut a little branch off because I don't like with cards to have anything, if I can help it, hanging off the edge. So I want everything to be within the um, perimeter of this card. And just keep adding all of this foliage. And then I figured I want it to come to that um, corner part too. So I didn't want to leave that out. I am using my hot glue gun to glue down the button. Um, there's a few ways to glue down buttons, but this, honestly, I found it to be the quickest, fastest, and most efficient in the past. Then I stamped out a sentiment that says, You make me. I just stamped this with some VersaPine Onyx Black ink, and I'm just going to cut in some little kind of um, banner tails uh, to the side, each side of this banner. And it's going to sit right up there, up above the smile sentiment. I am going to let, add a little bit of fun foam, just with some liquid glue to adhere it to the um, sentiment, and then liquid glue to adhere it down onto the project as well. So it just kind of sits in there nicely. You make me smile. The last but not least thing I am going to do is add some of those exact same Nuvo drops that I used in the first card. And I'm just putting a few here and there all around the place um, to finish it off. I hope you enjoyed these two cards. I had set myself the goal of using just kind of the one color or predominantly the one color. And I really like the outcome of both of these cards. So let me know your thoughts in the uh, comment section below. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.